I love our kids. I love their stories. I love um, getting to know them, what they care about, being a part of their families, um, being a part of their life. It seems to me that this church community takes seriously its call to disciple the next generation. This church has an incredible opportunity, I think, to meet our teenagers where they're at. I think one of the most important things in a church is to have a designated place for the youth to meet because it's somewhere that they'll want to come every week. Having a designated space will give the kids something to look forward to. It gives them another group of friends outside of their school friends. It means their D group leaders can focus on them. They'll be safe, they can share. It's gonna be a place that kids feel free to come, hang out, be kids where we can pour into their lives and we can put adults in front of them who love them so well um, and can help them grow and answer questions that they're wrestling with. It'd be a place that we could really finally belong and go and have fun. So one of the neat things about this facility that we're looking at building is that it resembles a home. And that is exciting for us because that's one of the things that we want to build for our students is a kind of a home. A lot of them will talk about the fact that this church and C3 students in particular is where they feel safe and it's where they feel at home, but they don't actually have a place to call home. So one of the ways we have an opportunity to embody God's love to our students and to the students of Franklin is by preparing this place for them. The first three days of creation, God makes the spaces. And then in the next three days of creation, God makes the creatures that were made for those spaces. And the pattern of that is important. God doesn't first create the creature and then go, well, where are we gonna put this? He creates the space that's specifically designed for it, the environment for the flourishing of this creature. C3 students and just the youth organizations as a, as a whole at Christ Community have meant so much to me over 18 years of my life. It's my family, it is my safe place, it's just an amazing community. We eat together, we hang out together, we study together, we have important conversations together. Those are the things that you do, that's the stuff of a rich community, but it's also the stuff of a ministry that matters to the hearts of people. I think we should build the Youth Lodge because we need to, number one, we need to fulfill a promise. Uh, we, a long time ago, back in 2001, said that that's what we were gonna do, and it's 2019, and we still have not done that yet. I also think we should do this because it's a way to bring not just our students, but the students of Franklin in. I just think it's important for us to change the story we've been telling our kids. Um, you know, you see churches that um, start out and they're in a high school gym and they're so excited and after a long time, carting that U-Haul gets old and it wears out folks and it's so incredible when you finally get that space that's yours and the energy that comes and I just think it's time. It's time to dedicate a space that is for the kids that says you really matter to us. It's time to rise and build. It is time to rise and build. It's time to rise and build. Rise!